Hi, my name is Robin Wong and in this video I want to talk about 5 reasons why I don't use back button focusing. Just yesterday, an amazing friend and talented photographer Mati Sulanto from Finland, he has posted an amazing video showing the importance of using back button focus and how to set it up in his Panasonic camera. You can check out the video here. So my video is made as a direct response to Mati's video and I personally do not use back button focusing and it just does not work for my personal shooting style. Please bear in mind that this is not bashing back button focus. I acknowledge that a lot of photographers like to use back button focusing and they have found it to be extremely useful in a lot of shooting scenarios. Also, everything that I'm sharing in this video reflects my own shooting approach. It may or may not apply to you. So let's do this. Reason number one. I don't shoot wildlife or sports photography. Yes, I'm a professional photographer. I do mostly wedding photography, portraits, corporate events, lifestyle photography, and a little bit of food and product photography as well. For most of my photography work, I don't really need to have the back button focus. And I acknowledge that the back button focus is very useful to separate the autofocus process from the shutter button. It really helps in situations where you have to wait for the shot for a long duration of time, say waiting for the bird to fly, or you want to lock the focus and recompose your image. But most of my photography work, take weddings and events for example, after I've acquired all the focus, I have to immediately shoot the photograph. There is very little waiting time in between. I fully acknowledge that if you truly shoot a lot of wildlife and sports photography, back button focusing may be the way to go for you. Reason number two, back button focusing compromises camera handling. If you look at a lot of camera designs, especially the cameras from Olympus, I am an Olympus visionary, I use Olympus cameras all the time. There is a dedicated thumb rest at the back of the camera. The thumb rest area allows your thumb to sit on it comfortably and it allows a much secure handling of the camera. The photography that I'm doing requires long shooting hours. I'm holding the camera for hours and hours. The comfort of handling the camera is very important for me. Now, if I were to use back button focusing, I will have to move the thumb away from the thumb rest area and, and place it on the back focusing button. When that happens, it changes the way I hold the camera and the side of the camera now digs into my palm. It is okay if I do this just for a few minutes or even just for 10 to 15 minutes, but if I were to have this camera dig into my palm for a, an hour or two, it will get very uncomfortable and painful. I choose balance, I choose comfort, I need to have a secure handling of my camera, I'm constantly on the go, I don't stay at one spot for a long time, I don't camp to do my photography, I move from one point to another quickly to get my shot. Hence, having a very secure way of holding the camera, that requires my thumb to rest on the thumb hook and hold the camera tightly so it doesn't slip from my hand. So I'm very sorry, back button focusing doesn't work in this scenario. Reason number three, I shoot a lot of macro and close-up photography. One of the favorite photography genres that I do on my own for my personal shoots is insect macro. When I do insect macro photography, focusing is very critical. Even if I just shift away one millimeter, just one or two millimeter away from the focusing plane, the entire image is being thrown out of focus. Therefore, separating the autofocus function from the shutter button, it will cause a slight delay when we capture the shot. I need to instantly fully press the shutter button after I've acquired autofocus. And yes, I use autofocus for extreme magnifications. I find that mirrorless cameras these days, especially the Olympus OMD EMA Mark II, it focuses really quickly and accurately. But locking the focus distance is very dangerous. If you use the back button focus to acquire focus, then you will need to use a separate finger to press to capture the image. This causes that very slight delay, and that was enough to cause an out of focus macro image. 
I'm sure if you do a lot of inside macro photography or any kind of macro photography, if you don't use a tripod, if you shoot everything handheld, back button focusing doesn't work for you. Reason number four, I shoot wide open a lot. When I'm out shooting on the streets, one of the things that I love doing is shooting portraits of strangers. When I shoot portraits of strangers, I typically use 45 f1.8 or sometimes 45 f1.2 and I go really close to get the head and shoulder shot of my subjects. When human portraits are being shot at such close distance using wide open apertures, say f1.2, chances of focusing error is amplified. By using back button focusing, you are technically locking the focus and there is that slight delay before you press the shutter button. To me, that is very dangerous. I didn't want that to happen because not only that there is a possibility for you to move, but your subject, the people that you shoot, the human that you're trying to capture may move as well. Just one or two centimeters of movement, rocking back and forth just a little bit during the delay between the press of the back button focus and the shutter button is enough to cause the delay. Again, the same mechanism as explained in my inset macro shooting scenario, I need to quickly capture the image after I've achieved autofocus. Half press, fully press. Half press, fully press. With very minimal delay in between and having both operations of autofocus and capturing the image with the single button, it just makes it so much quicker, so much easier and so much more efficient. And I come home with much, much higher keeper rate in comparison to back button focusing. Reason number five, finger cramps. I know this doesn't happen to a lot of people. Most people, it takes time to get used to using back button focusing. And once this is a second nature while you're shooting, you don't think about it anymore and you're comfortable using that. So for my own photography, everything moves around quickly, right? So I'm shooting events, I'm shooting on the street. I need to recompose again and again and again. So the frequency of me hitting the back button focus to achieve autofocus is very, very high. Everything moves constantly, everything happens very quickly. I need to just press the back button focus again and again and again. And by pressing it so many times over a long duration of time in such an awkward position, it just stresses the ligaments and the muscles on my thumb. And at the end of the day, I come home with a very, very sore thumb. It just doesn't work for me. I don't have the same issue when I use my index finger to half press the shutter button and quickly capture the shot. I have to press the shutter button to get the shot anyway. So why don't I use the shutter button to half press for the autofocus and immediately get the shot after that? Why do I need to use another finger to achieve the same thing? It just doesn't make sense for me, or at least for the photography that I'm doing most of the time. Unless you are in one location and your subject is not moving and you stay at one spot, all you have to do is just press the back button focus at one time and you wait for the right moment and then you press the shutter button because every time you refocus, there's a chance of focusing error. So you just lock it there and once the action happens, you just hit the shutter button. That makes sense. But for most of the things that I shoot, everything moves constantly. It doesn't make sense to lock anything. So there you go, five reasons why I don't use back button focusing. I don't shoot while I'm in sports. Back button focusing compromises handling of the camera. I shoot a lot of macro photography. I shoot wide open aperture a lot. And finally, my thumb cramps when I use back button focusing for the photography that I do. But hey, I cannot speak for you. These only apply to me. But do let me know in the comments below. I know a lot of you are using back button focusing in your photography and I know that it works so well. Some people even say that, oh, once you go BBF, you cannot go back. To me, there is no right or wrong way in photography. Either you use back button focusing or you use the shutter button to do everything. It doesn't matter. No one method is superior. You just have to choose the most suitable shooting method for your own photography. I hope you have found this video useful. Please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to this channel and I will definitely see you again in the next one. Until then, please go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.